Crew, good morning. Oh my gosh, Philip, that's so that was so fast. Willie, good morning. Where's Erica, you know? Well, guys, I feel like uh, we missed our, our public live this week because we didn't have internet earlier in the week. So, I mean, Friday fun day. Why not make it up on a Friday? <laughs> Hello, Philip. <laughs> I like the cowboy hat emoji. <laughs> Alfonso, ciao. Batter, good morning. Javier, good morning. Woodland, good morning. Willie, back in the gym still? It must be a good week, you know. Ricardo, good morning. Aaron, yay, happy Friday. It's Friday, gang, you know. Doesn't get any better than that. Ready to rock and roll here. Deirdre, good afternoon. Oh, wow, I take a stab at that. That's, uh, I have no idea how your letters are pronounced, but go, I me dog <laughs> which flag is that is that the south african flag maybe i could be totally off here you can give me burpees for that deirdre <laughs> ah philip i got it i like that gretchen good morning gretchen i feel like it's been forever since we've seen you Ooh, home today willie working out with well we have like a really like a we have a very fun 20 minute EMOM, so basically a five rounder today. Erica, I know, but I feel like it's the, it's the other days that count, you know? Because it's like you actually have to dig for those. Oh, I guess, yes. Good afternoon where you guys are. Deirdre, South Africa, I got it right. Woo! I've always wanted to go to South Africa. I've always wanted to scuba dive with the great white sharks. It's on my bucket list. One of my friends wants to go there for his birthday and swim with the Great Whites. I'm like, I'm in. I'm, I'm in for that. Erica, have you done this yet? Philip, have you done this yet? Philip, I feel like I saw your score in the results and I was trying to do the math on approximately the average reps you had to do in that max minute to get to, was it almost 200? Gretchen, we've missed you. I know it's been so long. Erica, scout report. Philip, scout report. Shay, hello in Cairns, Australia. I love Australia. Shay, love Australia. I studied abroad there. One of my favorite places in the world. Wow, that's awesome, Deirdre. Wow, that's really cool. Thank you for sharing those uh, language hacks with us. It's not really a hack, but really the, the information. Erica says it gets rough around the third round. Well, I guess that being said, I'll, I'll start going through the warm up and then we can go through what the workout is so I can explain what the scout report actually means. But that being said, it's Friday, so it's gonna be really fun regardless. <laughs> oh yeah, those shoulder to overhead, Erica, that cycle time's gonna be fun. How are the double unders going, Philip? Oh, I do need my jump rope, gang. And to Philip's point, the most important thing on double unders is to stay relaxed. The more relaxed you are, the easier they are. But it's the most counterintuitive movement on the planet. The last thing you want to do when you're learning a double under is relax. Then when you hit yourself with the rope, the last thing you want to do is relax. <laughs> but in fact, the more you relax, the easier it will become. But at least you're aware of that, Philip, you know? At least you have like some concept of th that is true, regardless of, of the challenge of maybe executing that. <laughs> Which I get it. Everyone's go-to is you tense up and your arms go like this, and they're like, why do I keep missing? But we've all been there. Anyone that's attempted it, that they know the struggle. The struggle is real. Part, part of that learning process, you know? Gary, good morning, Danielle, good morning. Danielle, have you done this? 
Gary, what did you coach or referee last night? I just know to ask you every day. <laughs> Philip says steady pace on shoulder to overhead and maybe try to get faster through the rounds. He says maybe try to negative split. We'll see. It depends how good of a warm up you get, I think. Heck yeah, Philip. Erica, mine are too. I like been over this morning to pet the dog and I was like, no, hey. Ooh, Danielle, what did you think? All right, guys, I'm gonna go through this warm up as we're getting our continue, our scout reports continue to come in, gang. Slowly but surely. Hello, in Germany, Stefan, you made it. Stefan, your dog picture with the glasses and the hat. I just can't get past it. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, guys, so for our warm up today, we have two sets. Those are 20s, if you can't tell by my twos. And the last one's a 10. <laughs> two sets, 20 jumping jacks or single unders, 20 alternating RDLs. Total 20 jumping jacks or single unders, 20 plank jacks, 20 jumping jacks, 10 hand release push-ups. So you go through that two times. Constantino, hello. Well, thank you, Constantino. This is just our warm up so far. We'll go through two sets of that, but I'll probably just do one set and continue chatting with you guys as usual as you guys move through that second set. And I go through the workout because it's a little bit of a longer one today. 20 minutes, heck yeah, and ending with an ab burner because fry yay, fry yay. Constantino, when you say you're in Italy, I just think of all the amazing, wonderful food. <laughs> oh, mm, speaks to me. <laughs> oh, Stefan. All right, guys, so we'll start with the 20 jumping jacks or single unders. I'll probably alternate. I'll probably start with jumping jacks. I just want to get those ankles and knees warm. And then as I go through that list, I might transition to single unders to get that key pop. Keep up ready for those double unders coming up in the workout or single unders, whichever one you prefer to do. And then uh, we will take it from there, gang. What do you think about that? How's everyone feeling? Is everyone ready for a 20 minute EMOM? That's the question. All right, now we're ready. Oh, oh, Aaron, that's all I saw, yes, ooh, yay. Definitely in Italy, mm-hmm, for sure. <laughs> that's funny, Philip. it's true. Is it a question mark or is it a number of rounds? Josh, hello! Football scrimmage and softball game. Gary, I just, you're like sport extraordinaire, I love it. All right, guys, so again, I'm gonna start with those 20 jumping jacks. 420 single unders, then we'll go into RDLs. And back through this list. It's a longer list, but it's a good long warm up because we have, like I said, a nice little 20 minute EMOM on the agenda. Mayhem athlete life, Philip. I love it. Although, you know, you gotta start, you gotta start the whoop, whoop or something like that. Haha. -ha. It's like, get, get credit or something. <laughs> All right, gang, so again, starting with 20 jumping jacks. And you guys will definitely want to get that heart rate up a little bit before starting. And Josh, whoop, whoop, I know, that's how I feel about that into 20 RDLs, guys, warming up that posterior for us for some dumbbell deadlifts or some glute bridges later. So I'm gonna take that right arm down and that right leg back. So it's opposite of the leg that's staying on the ground. Trying to keep that pelvis nice and neutral. If you tip over the first couple or later on, I do that too. That's okay, we just wanna start getting everything nice and warm. Today we have a nice little happy combo of uh, some lower body with those deadlifts, some heart rate with some, some jumping or double unders, and then we'll get into some shoulder to overhead. Who doesn't like that? I know the crew did uh, 
little higher volume shouldered overhead workout this week and everyone's pretty sore the next day. You guys have a nice opportunity for that today with this EMOM. You get a couple minutes of max rep shouldered overhead. Who doesn't love that? Or mountain climbers. If you're just doing the body weight version, which to me, mountain climbers get my heart rate high. Love a good mountain climber. It goes right up there with my favorite movements like uh, jumping lunges and jumping air squats. I didn't really count these guys, but it's around, I'm around 20-ish so far. Then back into 20 more jumping jacks or single unders. Mara, everything's great, how about you? Mara, no! <laughs> Anders, we appreciate you stopping by for your attendance streak. You'll continue to get that, the gold star for that, for showing up to say hi. All right, guys, so 20 more jumping jacks or single unders. If you don't have a rope, you can use a plate or a line, guys. And now we're moving on to 20 plank jacks. Movement we haven't really seen many times on M30, but it's a great, great warm up tool. Heck yeah. Yeah, you get that run and you should do some M30 today, you know? So plank jack, guys, you're gonna come down into that plank position. You can either be on your forearm, stacking that shoulder over that elbow, or same idea with your arms straight out. And ideally you're just, you're dancing those legs in and out. That's what a plank jack is, but we'll demo real quick. Do our 20. So I'm gonna come down onto my elbows, guys, and I'm gonna hop those feet in and out like so. That'll be my plank jack. And 20. So after our plank jacks, yeah, I love those plank jacks. A little core and heart rate in one. We love that, especially on a Friday. Again, get your mind right for the ab burner after gang. <clears throat> Stefan, your whoops the highest from doing yard work. You must be getting after that yard work. I should probably take some lessons from you then. <laughs> Back to 20 jumping jacks or single unders. I'm still trying to get my ankles and everything nice and warm. So I'm gonna keep doing the single unders. But I started with those jumping jacks. And 20. And last but not least, in this set we have 10 hand release push-ups, guys. Just make sure on those push-ups, you form that nice little triangle. Because this way, we don't want our elbows to go out when we're coming down on those hand release push-ups, guys. We wanna keep those elbows nice and close to our body our forearm relatively vertical, and we're gonna pick those hands up, but we wanna engage that big muscle group. We don't want those chicken wings on our push-ups this morning. So, we'll come into that plank position. If you need to use your knees on this, that's completely fine. Just drop your knees to the ground from that plank position. So plank, knees, because I still wanna keep my body nice and straight. I don't wanna stick that booty out in the air. So, keeping that body nice and straight, we're in that plank position. I'm gonna bring my elbows back, not out again like chicken wings. Lift those hands up, press up and lock those elbows out. If my knees are down, still bring those elbows back. Coming back to that locked position. And you'll still pick up those hands. So we'll have 10 hand release push-ups. I'm counting those two. Try not to have saggy booty. No one wants a saggy booty on a Friday. Saggy booty, happy booty, I don't know, it's Friday. Sounds celebratory to me. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> you have a push mower, Gary? Or a riding one? Because I feel like the push mower would really get that straightened up a little bit. And there's knowing that, uh, how rested he is. I get it. With the aura ring is what you use? Marcus, happy Friday. Oh, Josh. Well, my question would be, he said, she, should he do snatches or clean and jerk complex today? I don't know, which one do you like the least? 
Whichever one you like the least, you should probably work on. <laughs> That's how I gauge it. Unless you're following Mayhem Athlete and it's written out for you. Julie, good morning. Aria, good morning. Ben, you made it. <laughs> yeah, Philip definitely invited some peeps, I think. All right, guys, so hopefully you're moving through that one more time. That warm up, that nice little long list, we wanted a really good warm up this morning. So hopefully you move through that one more time while I go through this workout. Like I said, it's a little bit of a longer one, so I'll let you guys keep moving as we go through this. Seven, you should just have your dog in the little, uh, the hat and the glasses. I'm sure your dog would eat, would eat some grass, would help you. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. At least fertilize the grass or something like that. <laughs> well, if you like them both, well, what else have you worked on this week, Josh? Have you done either of them yet this week? <laughs> How about both? <laughs> Just kidding. That's safe for Saturday. Work up to a heavy on each. Or that's what we usually do. Constantino, I would love that. I am 100% in. Danielle, I'm impressed that you do the push mower. I don't know how to turn it on. <laughs> I mean, I imagine it's like a lawnmower row. Maybe that's why we do those rows. But then again, I don't know. <laughs> I do, Aria. I just, um, I, it's the old runner in me. She asked why, if I like when my watch is inward when I'm working out. Because when I would run, like when you interval train, to me, it, it was like a much bigger movement to check your splits going like this, whereas if you just flip your wrist over like this, so it's kind of the same in this, you know? I can just do that. Marcus, I love that. It's such a good verse. Ben, I totally understand that. You're allowed an active recovery day. We've had some good ones. You should see yesterday's uh, Throwback Thursday workout. We picked a pretty brutal one too. <laughs> All right guys, so for the workout today, we have a 20 minute EMOM for both our body weight and minimal. And what that means is every minute on the minute you're performing this number of these movements, except for minute number three, and then you have the remainder of rest. So for example, for body weight, minute one is 20 glute bridge. So within that minute, you'll do 20 glute bridge and the remainder of the minute you will have as a rest. A little caveat there, if you get to around 45, 50 seconds and you haven't finished and the next movement, you want them to be interval style. So if you get to 45, 50 seconds and you're not done, I would encourage you to stop for the remainder of that minute to transition and prepare for that next minute. That being said, if you think you can do less rest than that and still make it through the 20 minutes and not be overlapping minutes, then you can do that if you know you can handle less rest. But I would encourage around that 50 second mark get ready to transition, get ready for that next movement. So minute number one, 20 glute bridge. Again, you'll have the remainder of that minute rest. Minute two, 50 line hop or jumping jacks. And then minute three is the only one that's a little different because it's max reps. So that entire minute you will be working on mountain climbers. Then minute four will be rest. So essentially you're gonna have five rounds of that workout, guys, if you like to look at it that way. Sometimes I like to look at it in rounds just to keep count easier. So for minimal 20 minute EMOM, minute number one will be 20 double dumbbell deadlifts, 50s for the men, 35s for the women, or whatever you happen to have. Uh, remainder of that minute will be rest. Minute two will be 50 double under or 75 single under. Remainder of that minute will be rest. Again, if you get to 50-ish seconds, then you're also free to stop there. And then minute three, you're working the entire minute because we know the minute after that's gonna be rest and that's going to be max rep double dumbbell shouldered overhead. That's what DDBSTO means. So max rep, double dumbbell shouldered overhead, keeping that same weight, whichever one you use for the deadlifts, 50s and 35s we have recommended, but it's whatever you happen to have if you're at home or the gym. Minute four being rest. Hello, five rounds on Friday. Sounds fabulous to me. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty pumped. <laughs> Ellie, hello. <laughs> Hi, Ellie from Ellie. <laughs> It's so rare that that ever happens. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> nice, okay, Erica, so it took her about 35, 40 seconds. Erica's definitely a veteran here, so it might be a little bit different for everyone else. Oh, Aria throws on the weight vest to mow the yard. I love that. <laughs> I dig that, <laughs> kind of like yard work, get it? He, sort of. We can tell silly jokes on Friday, right? <laughs> or try. <laughs> I'm laughing, I don't know. <laughs> Could have been a bad joke. <laughs> Ooh, 
Josh, hopefully, I think we have one. I thought uh, we, ha we had one going for a while. That's a great question, SKS. <laughs> Marcus, I will. <laughs> Let me know how it goes. Stefan says his yard's bad enough without a, without a vest. All right, guys, so we're going to go through these real quick and get started because, we, like I said, we have a nice little 20-rounder here. So for body weight crew, you're going to start with glute breakers. So you're going to bring those heels nice and close to your booty. If you have um, a band, you're more than welcome to use that too, pushing those knees out. I'm going to be squeezing my glutes and my hamstrings and my core. So you'll have, I believe it's 20. Let me make sure. 20 glute bridges on that. So I'm squeezing up, trying to keep that pelvis again nice and neutral. You don't want it sagging to one side or the other. So you'll have 20 glute bridges in that first minute. That second minute, you'll have line hop or jumping jacks. We warmed up with some jumping jacks. So you'll either have 20 jumping jacks or you can imagine a line down here if you want to work a little laterally. I love lateral work because we don't do it a ton. I would draw a line, but you know, looks like the bar just been cleaned. So, or you'll have 20 line hops. Again, do love a little lateral movement. We don't always get a ton of that in. Then minute three, whoo, here's this fun minute. You're gonna be doing max rep mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, it's again, it's like one of those hidden gem movements. So I'm gonna come into that plank position. I'm gonna be driving my knees to the chest, switching feet, and I'm gonna be doing max rep mountain climbers in that third minute. That's gonna get that heart rate nice and high. A minute is actually a long time to do mountain climbers, guys. Good luck. <laughs> and keep count of those. That'll be your score for today. Will be the total number of mountain climbers you do within that 20 minute EMOM. So that's how we're scoring this workout. For minimal, guys, we're going to start with these double dumbbell deadlifts. A little trick to, to, dumb, to, to dumbbell deadlifts, okay? I want the dumbbells right by my feet. And just like a regular deadlift, I want to keep that chest nice and tall. I want to keep that back nice and flat. And what I think about when I do that is I'm going to grab the dumbbell and I don't want to round that back. I want to think sit back and then stand nice and tall. I'll touch just the heads of those dumbbells, completely extend my hips at the tall top. But the secret is guys, when you reach down to grab those dumbbells, right before you lift, sit back like you're sitting down a little bit. That's going to keep your chest nice and tall and that back nice and flat. Then minute two, we're going to go into 50 double unders or 75 single unders. Minute three, ooh, here's our, what do we call that? Money minute? I don't know. I made that up. It's Friday. Sounds fun. Why not? <laughs> For our money minute, <laughs> aka the minute we're counting, <laughs> you can clean those dumbbells up. You can strict press, push press, push jerk. I'm going to push press. Really think about that dip, guys, and drive and lock out those shoulders. So as I'm bringing the dumbbell down, I'm already getting back to that dip. And I'm really driving through those legs. A minute's gonna be a long time doing those shoulder to overhead. <laughs> right, Rhea? Th thank you for appreciating my, my money minute. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> but it's Friday, sounds fun. <laughs> so minute four will be rest. I'm gonna put tally marks on the floor because, you know, math, counting, Friday. Take the help where you can get it, right? <laughs> All right, gang. Any questions? Time to put the hair up. It means we're getting serious. <laughs> Money in it, you know? <laughs> Aria, I feel like that's a compliment. She said my jokes are better than dad jokes. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> but I appreciate you if, you if you giggle along with me. And even if you don't, even if you just tolerate it, I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you can always hit mute, you know? <laughs> oh, it wouldn't be the first time. That's okay. <laughs> Danny, Danny, Mr. Thruster, you made it. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So, if no questions, we'll get into this 20 minute EMOM. And you know what I love about it? There's a minute of rest. So, there's time to chat more. Oh my gosh. Think of more jokes. Someone can come up with jokes. Gary, where are you at with the uh, the dad jokes? 
Gary's got more jokes than, I don't know, what's something there's a lot of? Than grains of sand on the beach. There we go. <laughs> Gary, I'm expecting you to come in strong here. <laughs> I just really talked you up. All right, crew, can't, can't live without chalk, you know. Let's see. Good on our, our dumbbells. Bring this camera down a little bit. Easier to be nearby so I can, you know, like I said, chat. <laughs> Mr. Thruster, that's okay, it happens. Real life. Also, Gabe, that is a baby doll in that bouncer back there. It's not an actual human. It scared the daylights out of me because I walked in and I just see, it's like the shape of a baby in a bouncer and I was like, oh dear. No, it's just a, uh, just a doll. <laughs> All right, Gary's busy paying the bills, fine, you know, real life stuff. All right, guys, we are gonna start here in about 20 seconds. Figure you want a little, you want a clock. I can reach it. We have enough extension cords right now that works up. Now it's like, who wants to go on a Friday scavenger hunt? Because you know what that entails? Finding the remote for the clock. Hmm. If I were a clock remote, this is where it's like, you try to get into the mind of Rich. Where would Rich put a clock remote gang? Quintafal, Quin, Quin, Quintafalta, <laughs> Buenos Aires. If you see the remote, call it out. It's usually on a ledge. Hmm, we need it. It's a 20 minute EMOM crew. It's like an essential, essential piece of business for be in the seat. Like I said, here's your opportunity to get into the mind of Rich. If you were Rich, where would you put the remote? seconds. Hi, James! Josh, there was one. I'll ask for you today. Definitely message, because we did have one. The hairdresser. <laughs> Sometimes it happens, you know? It definitely needs Velcro of some sort. Alright, Dave, well, it's gonna show up when I least expect it, I presume. Well, you'll be on my watch today. That means maybe I'll make you do longer minutes. You never know. Mwahaha. Or something like that. Sorry, crew. 
but it's all right. I, I, I promise to keep you honest. I tried behind the TV area, but you know, such is life. It blends in with everything. It's okay. Good effort, gang. We, we did a, a multi-minute search. <laughs> I thought I tried to be Clocking five rounds. Remember, we've got 20 glue bridge or dumbbell deadlifts on that first minute. Next minute, it's 50 line hop or 50 double unders. Minute three, max rep mountain climber or max rep dumbbell shoulder to overhead. Minute four is rest. If you ever find the uh, the clock timer, you just I'll just holler. <laughs> I just can't believe I just said y'all. All right, guys. I'm going to hit my watch and just start here with these 20 dumbbell deadlifts. And we are going to start in three, two, one. And 20. We have about 20 seconds, crew. I won't give up on the remote, gang. I'll keep looking as we go. I'm committed. 10 seconds until we start those double unders or jumping jacks. And three, two, one. Moving to our max rep minute, guys. So 15 seconds. Blake, happy Friday. Max shouldered overhead or mountain climbers. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Heck yes, Marcus. And begin max reps, guys. Good show, guys. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. Okay, gang, that was a lot of uh, a lot of shoulder to overhead. Holy mackerel! I think I did thirty-three on that first one. seconds. You guys, my shoulders. Wow. All right. Goodness gracious. 
<laughs> Josh, he said, what's the difference between a, a dad joke and a bad joke? Punchline as a parent. <laughs> hey, Dave. Hello. Dave, if you happen to, uh, 10 seconds, can I see the remote anywhere? Yeah. Let me know. I, can't, oh, I spent five minutes looking for it. All right, guys, starting three seconds. Back those deadlifts. Two and one. That's funny. <laughs> we got a master programmer in the house too. Ten seconds, guys. Fifty double unders in three, two, one. like he's fighting a swarm of bees. But just remember, like we've all been there. Just make sure you have good video so when you look back, you remember those days. The journey. And two, one. Thanks, Tay. Great job, guys. 15 seconds. And five, two, one. Nice job on that, guys. Guys, I was wrong. I said getting rich is how to know where the remote is. He's here now. He doesn't know where the remote is. <laughs> Good job, guys. Sorry, in 35. It's not in any of its usual home. And then back to that glue bridge or deadlift. Thanks, Aria. Right, Stefan? I feel like I live by that. Five seconds. <laughs> hey, that's a good streak, Aaron. And go. Over the hump after this round, crew. Each 
It's a good one, Tasia. Fifteen seconds to those double unders or line hops. Starting in five, three, two, one. seconds so what do we call it our money minute <laughs> or something like that I still don't know what that means it's all right <laughs> it's Friday we make our own rules on Friday all right guys 10 seconds starting that max shouldered overhead or mountain climber in three two one Five seconds, guys. And two, one, rest. Over the hump, guys. Two more rounds. Nice work. Oof. Happy Friday. Thanks, gang. <laughs> I still can't get the image of swarm of bees. <laughs> we gotta tape your uh, your hands close to your hips <laughs> and get rid of the bees somehow. <laughs> Maybe get you some bug spray. <laughs> nice job, guys. Starting in 10 seconds, back to those deadlifts or glute bridges. <laughs> oh. Two. And one. Secret kitchen messages alive. Anders has uh, kitchen magnets. All right, guys, starting in 10 seconds on those double unders or line hops. And three, two, one. one left after this. <laughs> Blake, this is true. 
All right, guys, 15 seconds. Back to our max rep minute. <laughs> Blake, I think I need to see that for sure. Maybe for your sake. <laughs> Starting in three, two, one. Nice job, Willie. Twenty five seconds, guys. Fifteen. and found the pink mat you're talking about. 10.99 for an ab mat that's pink. How could you not purchase that? At least that's what I thought. Well, the minute goes by fast, guys. 35 seconds, then we're starting our last minute. seconds gang this is your last minute to get more reps than you've got you should be nice and warm by now and hopefully not at full muscle fatigue but who knows my shoulders feel like jello <laughs> just to be honest but we're gonna try all right guys three seconds two and one Got a fabulous ab burner on the agenda because it's Friday. Why not? Heck yes. 20 seconds till that last max effort, guys. Try to get even one more than your best round. Starting in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Nice job, guys.
Five seconds, guys. Two, one. Nice job, guys. Minute rest. Go through that ab burner really quickly. Again, who doesn't like a little core on a Friday? Wow, gang. Happy Friday. Deja crushed it on today's Friday programming. I don't know about you guys. I can't feel my shoulders. Erica, how many were you getting? Lily, how many were you getting? Yeah, Willie, I think I'm gonna go the the twenty dollar pink one with the tail tailbone support. <laughs> Shebird, we just have some uh, some of the crew walking in this morning, so that's who I was talking to. All right, guys, so twenty minutes done, and you will end today because who doesn't want to do this on a Friday? I know Erica and Danielle and Steph and Willie Blake. I know they'll do it. We have five minute AMRAP. Again, as many rounds and reps as possible. So you will just repeat this list for five minutes. And that will include 10 sit ups, 10 Russian twists, 40 flutter kicks. So, as Willie and I have been talking about, if you have the mat, you can grab it. But since I'm just demoing it, I'm just going to show you real quick. For your sit ups, guys, you have your knees together or apart. I really like the butterfly one. I find it a little more challenging. Touch your toes. Touch behind your head. Touch your toes. You'll have 10 of those. Then you're going to move into your Russian twist. So what I'm going to do is elevate my feet. If that's too hard, you can leave those heels on the ground. If you want to make it even more challenging, you can grab a med ball. I'm going to touch to the left and to the right. Each time I touch is going to count as one of 20 Russian twists. And then I'm going to move straight into my flutter kicks, guys. Feel free, I like to put my hands underneath my sacrum, my tailbone. You don't have to do that. And then you're just going to kick those feet. Quick, I like to keep them nice and straight. You're kind of near that hollow position, which is good for all of our gymnastics. So then you'll move into your flutter kicks. And then, guys, brutal today, no rest. Right back around to those sit ups for five minutes, as many rounds and reps as possible. Nice, Erica. Yeah, that was my uh, my goal too. Well, crew, awesome work today. That was that was fun. That was a long one. Willie, oh my gosh, your arms are gonna be noodles tomorrow. Nice work. You crushed that. <laughs> yes, I will. Rich, Josh wants to know. I know we had an adaptive track. Are we gonna have an adaptive track anytime soon? I thought we had one. We do not have one currently. We did have someone working on it, but TBD, Josh, we will let you know. Thanks, guys. Awesome work, crew. I know, Willie. I mean, MVP today, Willie. Holy mackerel. That's a lot of reps. I don't even know if I could keep counting at that point. I think I just, you know. Be like, I'm there. It's good. We're good. Everything's fine. Well, crew, awesome job today. We're super thankful for you guys, and hopefully, new bright and early on Monday. Hope you guys have an awesome day.